father fighting against my marriage, fighting against me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who are you going to cast out in the name of Jesus? Do you know the Jesus Christ that you are calling? And do you understand the Bible that you are holding? Yes, I'm Satan. I am a witch. And I'm a demon. I understand. Christians pray every day, casting me out. Crushing me with tender. And want to kill me. But they don't understand the Bible that they hold. Even when the master Jesus Christ came, he came to destroy my works, not to kill me. And moreover, when Christ was casting me out, he was not a sinner. You went out sleeping with a woman yesterday and were here casting me out. You are living with a woman that you are not married to and you are casting me out. You are a liar. You do people for their money and you are casting me out. Let me tell you, Christians, understand the Bible that you are holding. In the book of John 9, 31 says, God does not listen to prayer of a sinner. If somebody obeys him, he is the one that he listens to. Therefore, if anybody wants to cast me out, if anybody wants to overcome me, that person must be righteous, not a sinner. If you are a sinner, you are my son. For Bible says in the book of John, chapter number 8, verse number 44 downwards, that whoever even lie is my son. Yes, in the book of John, chapter number 14, verse number 30, Christ said that I am coming, but I has nothing in him. Yes, there was no lies in his heart. Christ was not having bitterness. He was not having unforgiveness in his heart. But they are praying here, casting me out, having me in their hearts. Unforgiveness, bitterness, malice, covetousness, and you are casting me out. Listen to me. Who he can overcome me is one who has been like Jesus. The reason why Jesus Christ overcame me is because he has nothing that belongs to me in him. Look at your ladies in the church praying. Casting fire, 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 fire. Look at the addressing. We vaughn, waste, mesh, bleaching, and all this, then they are casting me out. He who can cast me out is he who is like Jesus. If I'm not like him, don't try to cast me out. You pray every day, but I always bring problems to your doorstep. You kill me every day, but I always bring problems to your doorstep. Because you have whatever belongs to me. Young boy watching pornography casting me out. Young boy masturbating casting me out. Young lady sleeping with a boyfriend casting me out. It's impossible. Before you can cast me out, you must be holy. Yes, I know the scriptures. Don't be surprised that I know the scriptures. Remember, in the book of Matthew 4, when I was testing your Messiah Jesus, I used the Bible. Therefore, for you to read the Bible doesn't make you righteous. For you to go to church doesn't make you righteous. For you to preach doesn't make you righteous. What makes you righteous to overcome me is to practice what is written. So next time, when you stand wanting to overcome me, make sure to be like Jesus. Anytime I appear and you want to cast me out in the name of Jesus Christ, the only time that name will value over, over me is when you yourself are righteous. But when you are sin, don't try casting me out. Many believers have failed. They are my sons, but they pray against me. Oh, the next day, look at what I did to you. You pray against me in the morning. I sleep with you in the midnight. You call it spiritual marriage. It is I. I'm your master. You pray against me today. I bring problem in your life tomorrow. Yes, I'm your master. They call me Satan. He who is like Jesus can overcome me. Be careful next time. And you are warned. Satan, Satan, go away. Yeah? Cut it, cut it.